from CDC's new eviction moratorium was meant in part to curb homelessness, which could lead more COVID-19 cases. And this all is to delay what they know is any, what, what they know is any, what they know is any, what they know is the inevitable, something that can't be avoided. They're just trying to delay it as long as they can. Alright, this is a, na- a national uh, eviction moratorium is back in effect, this time with a far broader protection than a now defunct, um, defunct eviction ban established by the CARES Act, while the previous law only covers certain types of properties. The new moratorium effectively protects everyone living in one of the nation's 43 million rental households, regardless of where they reside. But the new ban on eviction, which went into effect September 1st as and is set to expire December 31st, the end of the year, did come from the Congress or the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Instead, it was issued by the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, using authority granted to the federal government in 1948. To that end, the state Yet 
entirely clear on what if your landlord chooses to challenge or deny your declaration. The New York Times will move legal experts and government officials who help draft the order. And they suggest it could, it could be up to housing court to decide whether you qualify or not. If your landlord challenges your request, they recommend providing reasonable specifics to prove your eligibility. That include bank statements and other documents. CDC order doesn't change state laws. Any any state level eviction may still affect remain in a place as they are as the can be established by the CDC to help you find out the status of eviction protection in your state or local services. Um, site nolo.com maintains a uh, updated list of state eviction provisions.
Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Rakadash. Salutation to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teaching and percent true. Shalom, Baraka thunk to them. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teaching and percent true. Shalom, Baraka thunk to them for the edification and knowledge. And the foremost, before anything, give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Rakadash. Now, that was relating to the um, CNET.com um, article relating to what you need to know relating to the um, eviction moratorium in 2020. I want to go to a few um, verses, scriptures. Um, I want to go to Psalms. I'm going to go to Psalms 140 and um, 140 and um, 140 and um, 12. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. That relates to the nation of Israel. The Lord is going to stand for the for the right uh, for the uh, defense of the, the nation of Israel, man, because the afflicted and the poor are the nation of Israel. Israel, which are the righteous. I'm going to go to uh, Matthew's 5:42. Matthew's 5.42 I have this little light on uh, This is Matthew's 5.42 This is a red letter Give to him that asketh thee And from him That would borrow of thee Turn not thou away So um, Relating to ones in need Ones who ask of thee You give to thee And ones who would borrow probably not pay it back you give anyway you turn out them away that's specifically um, your brethren especially your brother especially your federal uh, fe uh, your uh, your fellow Israelite your federal uh, your fellow Israelite Shalakia um, so one who's in need and ask of you give it to him you know what I mean so um, let's continue on um I'm going to go to Proverbs 29 and um, 2. This is 29 and um, let me see. 29 and 7. Shalaki 29 and 7. Um, The righteous consider the, the cause of the poor, but the wicked regard it not to know it. So the wicked had no interest not to know it, neither do they care to. Um, the scornful men bring a city into a snare, but the wise men turn, turn away from wrath. The scornful men relate to the wicked. They bring a city into a snare, which is a trap. But the wise men, they, wise men, Relating to this truth, knowledge, and wisdom, using wisdom, turn away from that. Um, and if a wise man contended with a foolish man, where, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. So a wise man, you contend, you contend not with a foolish man because um, you, it's, you're not going to get anywhere with that you know what I mean so it's pretty much um, useless it's futile a fool uttereth all his mind but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards so a foolish man is going to utter what he speaks what he feels uh, what he what he believes foolishly recklessly but foolishly but a wise man will keep it within and that relates to that control of that tongue as well. You know what I mean? They know when to speak and when not to speak. It's a time and season for everything. Um, let me get... Um, let me get... Um, let 
me get Proverbs 22 and um, and two a few a few verses back. Proverbs 22 and two. Um, the proud the proud man foreseeth the evil. Shalakia. Um, the rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. So they're going to meet together. Because the Lord is the maker of them all. Um, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. The simple pass on relating to the, the wicked. They pass on it. You know what I mean? So they're going to fall in that trap, man. Um... But the prudent man will foresee the evil ahead. So the, the prudent man is going to, if you, if he sees, for example, a trap ahead, he's going to foresee that and try to and avoid it. But the wicked man, unknowingly, is going to go f towards that trap and they're going to fall right in. It's about you having discernment, wisdom, and knowledge, and um, being aware, being um, um, being aware, you know. Um, be circumspect them as um, be circumspect them not as fools but as wise, redeeming the times because they're evil. You know, be be a circ be a circ circumspect them, being aware, be cognitive, uh, being cognitive and alert and aware of knowing certain things specifically around you. You know, what I mean, and hypothetically, um, being aware of um, the things around you and what's going on relating to the signs. Um, let's go to um, 22 and um, let's see how I did that 22 and yeah 22 and twenty two and 22 rob not the poor because he is poor neither oppress the afflicted in the gate and the gate relates, relates to something that's open an entrance so this relates to how you, um, um, mistreating the poor, mistreating the, the poor, the afflicted. This relates to the righteous. This relates to the Lord's people, man. You know what I mean? Because they are oppressed, they were mistreated. You know what I mean? And ultimately, it's going to be a consequence for that. Uh, so rob not the poor because he's poor. Don't rob him because he, he's poor because he has nothing. He's poor. Leave him, leave him be. Neither oppress the afflicted. They don't oppress the ones who are afflicted or are suffering either. Leave them be. Now, let's go to um, 2nd Ezra, um, 6 and 22. This will be the last verse. <clears throat> This is um, second address. This is the Apocrypha. This is always part of the Bible. It was taken out in the early 18th uh, century. <clears throat> this is always an Apocrypha in the 1611. This, this is a lot of history in here, you know. But that's another lesson itself. Um, now I'm going to read 2nd Ezra uh, 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. Now unsown relates to something, KGV, relates to uh, something that's not planted or seeded. Um, and, the, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So things that were once um, had a lot, uh, that were had a, uh, abundance of supply are going to become empty. For example, is that these stores and places relate to food. It's becoming slowly, precursively scarce. So that limited, that supply is becoming limited in what you can get. Related to that um, full, um, that storehouse. Now, places that were once sown, sown relates to planted, rooted, grounded, and, found, and foundation. For example, this eviction thing. People were grounded in their uh, houses and their establishments. Now they're going to become unsown. They're going to be uprooted, dispersed, and taken out of that. So they're going to be scattered abroad, going aimlessly without 
no direction. That's that's what the society is is uh, precursively ultimately going to lead to, man. A chaotic, uh, raw, unfiltered, um, tight raw, um, state, man. That being said, um, this was just something ver this something quick relating to a few verses. I hope it helped whoever listened in some way. I pray it did. Um, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yasha by Shem Rakadush. All uh, salutations to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike. Teacher on percent true and have the hundred percent true. Shalom Baraka thumb to them. And foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yasha by Shem Rakadush. Watch out, thank you.